Okay, um, let's go have a look around Chat Arm now that things are uh, picking up. I'm on the bike, that's why I've got the uh, phone so close to me, so that uh, at least you can hear what I'm saying. If it doesn't work out, well then I'll um, yeah, edit it later and uh, do some talking. So yeah, I'm going to just take you for a bit of a wander around Cha Arm on the bike first into town, into the shop, then we'll go for a walk around Cha Arm and have a look what it's like now that things are really picking up here. Well, picking up to a degree. Uh, there is uh, the Cha Arm Gastronomy Festival on uh, this weekend, so we'll have a look at that. But. Uh, We'll have a look at the traffic, we'll have a look at how many people there are around here as a weekend and we get all the um, uh, local tourism and stuff like that around here and uh, we'll have a look at that and uh, please bear with me, it's just handheld so I'm going to turn the camera around now so you can have a look what it's like getting in and out of Char Arm from where I live which you can see behind me and uh, I'll turn the camera around and uh, we'll uh, check out what's going on Okay, so here we are. We're about to head into Cha Arm. Bear with me, handheld phone on the bike. Got our new mall down here, a new mini mall, uh, Lotus's. Used to be called Tesco Lotus. I think Tesco sold out on it, and so, uh, and there's a big uh, car service place there as well called Be Quick. Yeah, so. Our local market is up there, Monday and Friday. Okay, let's go. So this is uh, a minor main road down to the main road that goes into Cha Arm Beach. Cafe there, Hungry Jacks. Go there regularly for a nice coffee or whatever. They do a nice, nice Subway type sandwich. Something new going on here, unsure what it's going to be. They've been two years in the making of it. Okay, so let's have a look here and see where we're going. The main road, as you can see, there's a fair bit of traffic. I've got to be a little bit careful because uh, people do radical things like uh, pull up inside you when you're turning left don't use indicators so we've got the, uh, the barbecue chickens and pork here all along the road things are starting to heat up it's fairly early in the day so there's not too much traffic yet last night this road was bumper to bumper traffic just phenomenal the amount of people that come here from Bangkok from uh, Petsburi from Kanchanaburi all the different provinces they like to come down here to Cha Arm for the seafood stuff along the beach which we'll have a look at again we'll revisit that uh, when I get down to the shop and get off the motorbike I've got to be a little bit careful uh, not ideally a safe thing to be doing riding a motorbike and filming with one hand but fortunately it's automatic I know the road well I'm watching the road, I'm not watching the camera, so uh, we'll get there. All these little stalls set up, holiday time, selling clothing, as you can see, clothing, beach things for the kids, more clothing. I've got a Ford Ranger coming up behind me, you've got to be careful about them. Most of the people that drive them are fairly radical. So anyway, we'll just keep filming like this. You see, they just pull out in front of you, they don't give a shit. Okay. This is the road that leads down to the Cha'am Walking Street or Bus Station Road where all the bars are. This over here is a Roy restaurant. Some of you have seen my videos. Know that uh, I used to eat there all the time. They changed the chef. I don't particularly like the food there anymore. 
Um, this is called Chao Lai. Tanum Chao Lai. Chao Lai Road. <laughs> so, getting to the uh, Walking Street bus station road where my shop is. So, just arrived at the shop. There's uh, young Pang, my trusty manager, and her offsider, Arisa. Who suddenly has eye trouble and needs to wear glasses. <laughs> she must be looking at pictures of men online. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. So, as you can see, the shop's looking good. Great staff, fantastic food. Got a really good word of mouth rep now. Got some new equipment. Uh, got a little oven for the croissant. Got my taco pork and beef taco minces in there. Got the new grill, which works fantastic. The old one's sitting there for when it gets really, really busy. You know, got our coffee machine going on here. And uh, yeah, everything's good in the shop. A little bit of storage, you know, some stock. Okay, so I'll just turn the camera off now so I can uh, get myself ready to go for a walk around Cha'am. Okay, so here we are in Bus Station Road. Okay, uh, I feel okay filming the bars now because they're not full of people and uh, there's no one going to be upset about being videoed. Wow. This is uh, Cha Cha Bar. She's just pretending. This is Cha Cha Bar, owned by my good friend Terry. Uh, it's a biker friendly bar. All the different biker clubs come here when they visit Cha Am. Uh, it's called Bus Station Road because there's the bus station where you buy your tickets to Bangkok, Prachap Kirikan, Hua Hin. It's a blue bar, food shop. This is. Uh, the motorbike rental place right on the corner cars and motorbikes this used to be a bar but now it's being revamped and turned into a massage uh, shop yeah so we'll go for a walk down this side and then I'll come back up the other side after we have a look down the beach and uh, you know check out what's going on and how many people are around now, bear in mind, this is uh, only Saturday morning. It's not yet uh, 12 o'clock. This is going to be a new bar here. Uh, these people have moved from this place over here, just past my shop. This is the Cha Arm Perfect House, a really fantastic hotel with great service and great... Uh, the lady who owns this hotel is my landlady, actually. But they're really lovely people. It's very reasonably priced. Cha Am Perfect House. There's the telephone number. If you want to come to Cha Am, I recommend this place. Girls sitting quietly in the shop. They've done all their work. Uh, people have been moving and reshuffling bars and stuff. That's why all this crap's here. This is uh, Alan's Double Six Sports Bar, who does food as well. But we're not really competing with each other. They'll be open soon. He's just revamped this park. I think I can come in and have a look. You know, a sports fan, of course, as you can see. I hope that music doesn't uh, copyright restrict me. It's only a little bit. The Double Six Sports Bar. So these bars obviously are closed. The monkey bar here has moved up the road. Uh, a lot of those, uh, there, Alan's uh, the double six uh, sports bar. He rents those motorbikes as well. Uh, some of these bars are open, some are not. Um, this one here is uh, Sugar Cane Bar. I used to go there pretty regularly. Uh, you get, a lot of these bars are closed almost permanently up for rent, you know, and you rent the bar, you rent the top floors as well for your staff to stay and for yourself to stay. You can see this one here's got a phone number there to rent. These bikes are from uh, the new Birdie Bar. My good friend uh, Tony and his wife Koi have this bar. So what he cup. 
สวัสดีครับนีนะ Say hello Very nice people. Uh, Tani, a good mate. It's been a good mate to me. And uh, Silver Bar and uh, Party Bar. As you can see, there's still a lot of places closed down. Yeah, some of them couldn't make it through the. Uh, Uh, whatever demic it was, is was, and uh, a new one opening here. c h o r a i bar name. Name of the bar. Crocodile. Ah, uh, crocodile bar. Im. So crocodile bars just opening again. I think open yes yeah, soon. Open. But yeah. But my. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of bars getting ready to reopen. Uh, these are hotels, the Beach c h a a m Very nice hotel. A friend of mine stayed here, and I've been in there, and it's a really nice place, owned by a French man who's a gentleman. I think this gentleman over here is the man who owns the Beach Hotel and this lovely little restaurant. You okay, YouTube? Yeah. So. Uh, Just having to look around to show how c h a a m is picking up again, you know. And uh, he's got a lovely little cafe here. It's beautiful and uh, nice and cool. I'll have to actually come and have a coffee here myself soon. <laughs> okay, thank you. The local hairdressers here, salon, and uh, yeah, for rent you can see these places here for rent. You rent the bar or the foyer area and. You also rent these uh, upper floors as well. If you rent something, just looking back up the bar street, one side of the bar street, and you've got uh, these in the c e n t r as my shop is in the c e n t r Okay, so uh, you know, Photoshop. I don't know if anyone does photos anymore. You know, one of my favourite little restaurants here, Pui Restaurant. John. Boy's husband, s w a d i k a p just making some YouTube to show activity coming back to Chaam. Okay. You're welcome. Very nice food there. I eat there sometimes. I don't always eat at my own shop. The good thing about all the people here is that everybody supports everyone else and has done right through this uh, really tough time that it's been for the last two years. So you know, people come to my restaurant. I go to their restaurant. I go to their bar and have a beer. They come to my restaurant and have a beer. Yeah. So um, we're getting down towards the beach now. The Beach c h a a m Cafe and Restaurant that belongs to the same gentleman that owns the Beach Hotel up there. I believe it's pretty nice. I've never eaten there myself. Local Thai food restaurant right on the beach. Do a roaring trade when it gets busy. Okay, so we're getting down towards the beach. Now I'm not going to walk the whole beach of c h a a m I just wanted to show you uh, the activity that has begun to appear again. These are like uh, showers. After you've been to the beach, you go and have a shower and get changed. There's quite a few of those up and down the beach road. Very convenient for people from out of town. Friends of mine own this little beehive cafe as well as a bar up in the Bar Street. I often come here for a nice coffee and just sit here and watch the beach. It's called Beehive Cafe because the lady that owns it, her name is Bee. Okay, so let's have a look. As you can see, there's a fair bit of traffic. There's a lot of people wandering around, and um, got to be careful getting across the road. And uh, We'll, we'll go for a walk down the road anyway, and then we'll come back and walk up the other side of the beach road. Here, you can come and uh, you rent the the chair and tables and the umbrella for a amount of money. Some are more expensive than others, and people run food backwards and forwards to these places, so you can order just about anything you want, get a good food, and sit by the beach, which is a favourite pastime of many people from provinces. 
uh, far from the ocean and uh, of course uh, it's high tide at the moment got those ugly pillars over there that are, are going to be uh, fixed very soon they're slowly but surely working their way up the beach with this uh, beach renovation and stairs on the front you can see been a bit of swell through the wet season and there's uh, quite a lot of erosion tides going out now so people have uh, used the space that they used to have here before the erosion to move their tables and uh, umbrellas down on the beach so you can sit down there on the beach and have uh, a lovely little picnic so to speak onshore wind today but it's nice and cool because I'm sweating like a pig so we'll have a little wander down the beach you've got your beachside uh, Thai style street food restaurants gentlemen here's a taxi a motorbike taxi that you can hire to go anywhere around Cha Am when you see people with the orange vest on like that with the number these guys are motorbike taxis here you can see you can uh, you know rent this stuff with the life jackets and whatnot and uh, and the banana thing and go out and be towed around by the jet skis a lot of fun for a lot of people not really my cup of tea you know and you've got everything down here you've got another cafe over there cafe restaurant you've got uh, you know a shop selling all the beach stuff you know shorts clothing you know rubber toys for the kids another uh, shower place toilet five baht five baht is about it uh, five baht that's about uh, 20 cents 25 cents 10 baht's about uh, 30 cents or something like that for a shower more street food Thai street food everywhere down here you can see there's a lot of activity well you know for 11 o'clock in the morning so I did car and so yeah a little hotel here nice little hotel i don't know the name of it because as yet i still can't read thai so um yeah drinks oh no collecting empty bottles everything gets recycled here oh, i'm not sure about people i don't think they've introduced solient green here yet <laughs> but yeah um you know beachside uh, apartments for permanent or just holiday or one or two day renting and you can see they continue right up to the other road up there and there's quite a few of them and you can see there's a lot of people about and it's only early Saturday morning it's a long weekend I think so it is going to be absolutely packed I wouldn't be able to walk down here doing this uh, later on this evening although I might give it a try and add a little bit to this video later yeah so things are picking up in Cha Am as you can see there's uh, lots of renovation going on there's some apartments to, to rent they're renovating those and fixing them up I don't know what the shop front is what it's going to be a cafe of sorts I, I imagine more street food over here I'll take you over and show you a little bit of the street food you can see lots of traffic lots of traffic quite a few people around things are picking up in Cha Am uh, here we have uh, you know barbecue roast chicken delightful delicious aloy mai and uh, you can get some tam and uh, there's some uh, roast pork chicken fresh veggies for pa papaya salad some tam some tam Cha Am Irene Beach Cha Am. I have a friend who stayed there, said it was really nice. Never been in there myself. A little bit further down here, there might be an offering of uh, seafood, and uh, we'll have a little look at that. I know you've seen it before, but this guy's uh, spruiking to get people to come and park in here and use their facilities on the beach. As you can see, there's a fair flow of traffic, quite a few people around. I'm really happy to see it. I'm really happy to see things start picking up again in Cha'am. <clears throat> Here's a little seafood restaurant. 
they also sell all sorts of other things like eggs and uh, groceries some groceries and stuff like that but you can see they go to the markets in the morning get the fresh seafood off the boats shellfish of all different varieties green lip mussels fresh green lip mussels uh, oysters fresh fish and you can pick it and cook it here more Thai street food here everywhere if you like Thai food street food they're saying that uh, there's a big gastronomy uh, festival on at the moment it's right up the other end up the north end of the beach but um, you know they're saying that uh, Cha Arm is the uh, gastronomical center it's going to try and get a reputation as the gastronomical uh, place to visit so if we go for a little wander through here you see there's tables filling up people having lunch and uh, visiting Cha Arm fishing boats coming back in now you can see where the stairs will uh, sit on top of those columns that go all the way up the beach there and uh, we'll conserve this foreshore for the people that have businesses here and people that uh, want to come and swim here you can see down in the distance down there is uh, Wahin, a little bit uh, foggy today, high tide, but, uh, looking back up there, Cha'an Beach and there's like a central viewing point there you can see jutting out and then you have the north end of Cha'an Beach which is actually, actually really pretty, there's not much erosion there and there's a lot of beach and it's an area that's been preserved without this. So yeah, we're going to keep walking and have a look around. Ladies selling seafood. But as I said, I just wanted to show you the activity that's starting to come back to Cha Arm. It's, it's really pleasing to see. Everyone's feeling positive. Um, you know, there's a few scares about Omicrom, Omicrom, Omicrom whatever it is you know that has milder symptoms than the flu apparently as far as I've I know as far as I've heard as far as I've seen but uh, yeah so things are getting better Cha Arm is becoming active once again uh, look there's just people everywhere I mean it's not super crowded at the moment it's only early in the day and uh, most people when they're on holidays here they drink a lot of beer and a lot of whiskey and so not prone to waking early in the morning as they do at home on the farm or at home in Bangkok when they're getting up and going to work it's a relaxing happy time for Thai people when they come to the beach okay so we're back in bus station road in the bar street the walking street of Cha Am as you know, I don't like to go and film bars in the night time, you know, when there's uh, lots of girls there and lots of guys because some people just don't want to be videoed in that situation and I can understand that and I don't want to put people in compromising positions with their family or their boyfriends or girlfriends or wives or husbands. Sawadi Kaab, my friends at the Funny Bar which is a bar I go to pretty regularly. Oi, we have a show, we have a show, a beautiful show. Some of the, some of the beautiful ladies of Cha Am. Thank you. Welcome, thank you. Kap Kun Kap. Very good bar, really nice people, like this crew here. This bar's just open. Another one here closed. Hotel closed. I think it might actually be for rent this one by the look of it. Uh, this hotel's got a few people staying. Uh, normally there's no cars parked in the street for the last eight months, but you can see there's a few cars park parked up there all the way up to my shop. This place has been uh, undergoing renovation for quite a few months now. Uh, I think it's getting close to being finished because Chip Rock's done, they're ready to put power points in, there's some painting going on, so 
getting close to being uh, done, I think. Um, fish bar, there's a lovely massage shop here. And I think a little hotel. I think this, this place here used to be full of pool tables and a bar. Well, at the moment, someone's using it for uh, manufacturing cupboards and whatnot, I think, for this hotel under renovation. So, another bar. Miracle Bar. The Miracle Bar, they're open now. Now, that's a nice looking bike. Some really nice motorbikes here in Thailand. Look at this. Beautiful. Honda, yeah? Honda, say mine. Oh, quacka, it's a quacker. Toroi. Toroi, CC. Uh, Oh, 900, a quacker 900. I'm dying, I want one. But you know what would happen to me? I'd be a very temporary, very temporary resident on one of those around here. Too much power for me. Some more bars here. Local uh, little... Uh, supply shop and Thai street food restaurant very nice food here eat here sometimes my neighbors good morning so I did cup and a couple of hotels here this is another little hotel Cha'am my house I know a few people that have stayed here and uh, speak fairly highly of it and uh, yeah so monkey bar closed now and moved to another location and look at that look at that there the billabong aussie diner there it is there it is that's the backside. and here's my very my my very good friend my sister tukta my sister tukta say hello hello take your mask off and uh Ian and Mince Bar, the Red Lion. This one is the Family Bar. And that's a fairly new place over that side there. So there you have it. Okay, so here we are back at the Billabong Aussie Diner where my staff are eating Thai street food. Somtam. Somtam every day. Every day, somtam. They're lucky they're so good to me. They've got it good here. Only because they're very good to me. Okay, so that's it, folks. We'll uh, do some more later. But as you can see, Cha Am is picking up again. Things are looking better. Ciao for now.